What's happening? And welcome back. I got to ask you a question. Have you ever sat around and thought about um, just kind of like the potential that you have or, you know, the things you can do, the the things you want to have, the desires or your dreams or your visions or your missions? Have you just sat around and thought about, man, I know I can, man, I, I know that there is more that I have. I know that there's more within me. Man, I know I can do this thing. Have you ever sat around and really contemplated that? Today, we're going to just have a quick conversation about the untapped power lying dormant in all of us. And hopefully by the end of this, you may not have all the steps. What you will have is you will you will have a fire that will be lit. So by the end of this, the fire will be lit so that you can go after unleashing that power that's in you. So guys, I'm Jay Moore, the Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for life. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm super excited about being here. We are 30 days away from our 1,000th episode. And I'm super excited. Make sure you're around, around these parts, you know, the week of April the 27th. Um, I, I believe that's going to be an epic week. And 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 we want to be able to share with you guys whatever is happening. You know, maybe we'll give away some prizes, send out some, send out some books, send out some resources that may have that really has helped us along the way. I want to be able to bless some people with the things that have really just given me, given me the mindset, you know, to even want to come on every single day and, you know, and, and pretty much talk, talk about things that I want to do, talk about things that I'm, that I'm doing. And, and, and I'm willing to share with you just kind of like this journey. And I, I know that there's a point where we get to and, you know, some folks are, man, are we going to get there yet? There's a movie about that. Are we there yet? And the answer is you never get there. Like you can go as far as you can go and you still won't get there. So today we're just going to jump into this topic of the untapped power line dormant within us. And one of the things that I did this morning that I like to do when, when these titles show up in my mind, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you how the title came to me. Um, but when these titles show up in my mind. I want to look at the words that I'm using, right? Because words are everything. If you use the right words, you can absolutely create a life that is amazing and like a dream. If you use the right words. So the words that we use actually tend to frame the world that we live in. I'm going to say it again. The words that we use frame the world that we live in. So whatever world that I find myself in, it's because of the words that I'm using if I don't like them. I'm going to have to change those words. So I was looking around my office and every time I look around my office, I, you know, I can get inspired or I can get upset. And this time I got inspired. I looked at a book. I looked at a book that I remember I was walking through my neighborhood. No, actually, I wasn't walking. I was sitting at the desk and I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking. And this book, I had read it. It's a book. It's called it's U squared. U with the number two on top of it. U squared is written by. Ah, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, Price Price Pritchett. Um, U Squared, written by Price Pritchett. It's a great book. Go buy it. So I read the book. And after I read the book a few times, it's like 36 pages, but it's 36 pages of absolute power. It's absolute, it's a, it absolutely ignited something within me. And when I, I had this book in my hand and I went for a walk. I said, man, there's something about this book. There's something about this book that's going to change my life. And I walked around my neighborhood. I went for a walk. Like I'm getting emotional thinking about it. I went for a walk, maybe maybe an hour walk, walking up and down the road. And I said, this book, I will write a book like this. This book, which is something like this is going to change the world. And it's not going to just be you squared. It's going to be me squared. It's going to be me squared. And I wrote and I walked and I walked and I walked and I came back and I had an idea. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book just like this. Now, this book hasn't, it hasn't even come out yet. And here's, what, here's why I'm so excited about God's timing. Anytime something didn't happen when you thought it would happen, don't get upset. Say it again. Anytime something didn't happen when you thought it would happen, don't get upset. Why wouldn't you get upset? Because if you get upset, then you you start to block. Why? Like, think, think about this. If, if it's for your good 
If me not publishing that book last year or earlier this year already is for you, what if it's for your good that it comes later? Then why would you get upset? We don't want to block the real blessing. See, because sometimes we're not moving in God's timing. And we want to always move in God's time. We want to always move at the time that he says things are going to move. And so sometimes we're moving fast, which I learned. I learned in my assessment that I will move really fast on stuff. I have an urgent, I have an urgent pacing, even though some people may not know that. Some people think I'm probably really laid back. I'm not laid back when it's really time to do something. That I know I have to do, that, that I know that was in me. So this book, I know it's going to change the world, right? Well, that book. But I know that there was something within me. This is why I'm talking about this. The untaught power lying dormant in us. Not in me, not in you, but in us. I looked up these words. What, what, what words did I use? The untapped. Untapped just means unused. <laughs> That's what it means. Unused, not yet exploited. If you had a gift, yesterday we talked about the greatest gift. One of the it's not really it's one of the greatest gifts. If you have a gift that you have not tapped into, and that gift could change your life for the better financially in, in every way, wouldn't you want to tap into it? Wouldn't you want to say, I need to find that gift? I need to get that power out of me. Because if you have unused or unexploited power, what is power? Power is the ability. God gives us all a measure of power. Ability. He gives you, he, he gave you a measure of ability. He gave you a measure of ability to be able to function at a level that maybe you're not functioning at. Let me ask a question. Have you decided for a new level? Have you desired a new level? I got this book that I wrote, Next Level Faith, Moving Mountains in Uncertain Times. It's sitting over there on Amazon, waiting for people like you to buy it. Next Level Faith. What is this? Like, just think about this. Why, why was that book written? All right. I'm going to give you a quick story about this book, Next Level Faith. God called me. He called me into church, min church ministry. <laughs> I did not want to go, guys. I, I, I'm talking about... I, I remember watching um, my wife, Jenny, because she's involved in church ministry, and um, I, <laughs> I had no desire to go into church ministry. And so we were talking. She had just left her job, and we were having this visioning, man, vision of our community. Like, you're part of the community, the vision of our community. And, 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 and she came up with this idea. I was like, wow, that's big. That was big for her. She's not a, she's not a huge vision person. She's not a big... I'm not saying she doesn't think. That's not just something she's sitting around doing, right? Like me, I'm sitting around always thinking about stuff. But she came up with this idea. And we were thinking about the stuff and we talked about, oh, you know, because she's involved with the youth ministry. And I said, yeah, the youth, and we can have this, 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 and this. And not soon after, I get a phone call. Someone calls me and says, well, this position opened up in the church and it looks like the youth need a leader. So can you take over the, the youth department? Well, maybe you could do it with Jenny. That's what they said. Maybe you could do it with Jenny. Jenny was like, well, I really can't do it because I have another. She says, I can kind of support you, but I can't do it. Then Laura was just like, I got some, I'm going somewhere with this. So don't click away. The Lord says, well, son, <laughs> ain't that what y'all said? Get to it. You already said that you work for me. See, because when you seek first the kingdom, you work for the king. The king is to tell you to do whatever the king wants you to do. And I didn't think it, I didn't think this, this was, had anything to do with what I wanted. He says, this ain't about what you want, boy. <laughs> he says, about what I want. So go and do it. I was like, all right, fine. So I take, take the position. And one of the things that I did, I'm getting to the reason for the book, so don't click, don't 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 miss this. The one thing I did when I took the position, I could because I didn't like the that department anyway, or how that department kind of like was succeeding, which it wasn't. So I was just like, hey, look, I don't have any major plans for this right now. I'm just going to sit. And and what I did was I just kind of did a few things that was kind of normal within that department, 
and but I'm going to wait. And I waited. And then it, it started to come. God started to share things with me about what he needed me to do and what he wanted me to do within this ministry. And so it was about a year in. He was like, all right, well, now you're going to start doing this. And so I'm doing something different. And, you know, and then I don't know when it was. I started saying, oh, this is the next level department. I literally changed the department name. I no longer called it the, the youth department. I just called it next. I called it next level youth, <laughs> next level youth. And, you know, and, and that's just what I called it. I refused. I would not call it the thing that everybody else was calling. I said, because that don't work. I don't want to be associated with that. But I'll do this because God's telling me to do it. Next level, next level, next level. And then 2019, he introduced me to Dr. Miles Monroe. So that started in 2017. By 2019 is when he introduced me to Dr. Miles Monroe. And he told me to start doing a program, a different program where we would meet on Friday evenings. And I started teaching. I didn't even understand what I was doing. I started teaching principles of the kingdom. And I didn't even know what I was doing. But I knew what I was doing. I felt it. Like, literally, I must have listened to hundreds probably not hundreds that first month, but I listened to a lot of hours of Dr. Miles and I listened to a lot of that first six months. I went crazy and we did this thing every month. And then by 2020, it was picking up some momentum. I, I was inviting guests to come on with me, folks that had next level testimonies and people who were doing big things in ministry for the most part. And um, I had these, these speakers start coming. And when COVID hit, everything was virtual. Now, before COVID, I had a couple people come. Nothing was recorded. I had no footage. I was trying to get it, but I just didn't have, I didn't have the resources to get the stuff done. But when COVID hit, it forced us on Zoom. And then I was able to record every session that we did. 2020, by the end of 2020, Holy Spirit says, write a book. Take the recordings that you have of this, sort through them, and write a book. I moved fast. I did. I transcribed those recordings. I outlined it, and I sent it. I found a ghostwriter, and, the, and that ghostwriter took those recordings and made a book. And that book came out July of twenty one, two thousand. July of two thousand twenty one. Next Level Faith, Moving Mountains in Uncertain Times. That book was created when, when things were uncertain. No one knew what was going to happen. Everybody was afraid. But I knew this was a time for Next Level Faith. So that book is available. It's on Amazon. And so that think about this. That, was, that could have been unused information, unused power. There's principles in that book based on the stories of people who overcame next level problems, next level situations that can transform a life. Go check it out. It's on Amazon. Untapped power, line domain. So that was something that would, could have been unused that wound up being used. Now, here's the thing. What's dormant? What does dormant mean? It means something that is inactive. Something that has no activity. You, you and I have power within us that's not being used and it's not active. So how does one, how does one go from, how does one actually start using this? So I just gave you a story about the Next Level Faith book. But I didn't finish the story about the U squared book that, that I'm walking through. I'm walking through. I'm walking. And the Holy Spirit says, write this book. So now that book is in publishing. It's with a publisher. But let me share another one with you. See, sometimes you're walking with power. You're walking with these things that's dormant. And you see, for me, words, words are part of what I'm supposed to use, words. But where's the part of what you're supposed to use? You either got to write them, you got to talk them, you got to think them, you got to do something with words. So words is something that I know I have to use. How do I know that? I was driving one day in 2022. 
And as I was driving, I was coming back from the gym. And I was and I was having a good old time, like, you know, coming back. I'm excited to come back from the gym. And I was thinking about something. And in my spirit, something said, Master Communicator. I heard the Lord. I heard who I know the Lord to be in my life because he's in me. He said, you're a master communicator. That's it. Really? I was excited and I, and I just took it. And I just believed it. He didn't have to. He did not. God did not actually have to prove it to me. I was not looking for any proof. A few months later, I was on the stage of my mentor, one of my, one of my mentors, Pedro Rodeo. And I was being like, I was on a panel of people who had had fairly decent amount of success using this program. And I was up there and I was sharing. Here's what I shared. Because everybody, oh, about your marketing and selling and challenges. I shared the power of proximity, the power of a community, it, but it was more proximity. And I didn't talk about how, oh, I was successful, so successful, making so much money, you were, you were doing challenges. What I shared was I, was I became more successful because I was just around. I was not just, but I was around people. I was around the movement. I was around something. And I made a decision that this is where I'd be. See, in an environment that's growing, things grow. And they grow not because someone's forcing it to grow. It's because that's what things do in environments that grow. And that was me. So I shared this. I shared these. I shared these ideas while I was up there getting interviewed. And right afterwards, people coming up to me and they, you know, they're saying hi and thanking me. And and one guy says to me, I can't remember his name. I, I remember his wife, but I can't remember his name. He says, "You know, Jay, you're a master communicator." I said, "Really?" He said, you're a master communicator. He says, man, he says, bro, you have a gift. And I said, wow. Because I just remembered maybe a month or two before God, saw, God telling me, you are a master communicator. I had never had that thought before in my life. And then he confirmed it in somebody else. But imagine this. Well, we're, we're almost wrapping up here. I got maybe one more story and then we're going to wrap up. Imagine unused ability not doing anything. I want you to imagine that. And then I want you to imagine yourself as that. I know. That seems kind of messed up. Jay, why are you making me think that way? Because I just want you to know that there's unused ability right now in you that's not doing anything and it's waiting for you it's waiting for you i can hear your question and your question is with jay well how do i how do i access this untapped power that may be lying dormant in me right now how do i do that that's not the first question to ask the first question to ask is now, well, who do I need to be? Who do I need to be to unlock this power right now? <laughs> right now, not tomorrow. Like, like, like if I can have my dreams, I don't want my dreams tomorrow. I want my dreams today. How can I unlock the power right now today? How can I do like, like what do, who do I need to be to do that? got the answer for you right here and right now. If you could get clear, I wrote this down a couple of days ago. If you could get clear, if I could get clear, exactly what I want to see, exactly what I want to see. Like literally, you got to see it. Right now, I'm seeing the old picture that I had on my vision board of a person like myself who had six and seven pack abs. You have to be able to see it. Now, here's the thing. You got to keep on seeing it every day, day after day. You got to keep seeing it. It's got to be so clear that, that it doesn't matter where you are. 
you can literally just say, oh, I, oh, I see it. Because if you, if you can start seeing it and stay clear on it and have a desire for it over, like you, you're impressing. Um, Napoleon Hill talks about this in Think and Grow Rich. You've got to impress your subconscious mind. I've got to, there's a phrase that he uses, it's not coming directly to me, but, but it's, you have to make an impression. That impression is what starts the belief process. Then it says, oh, you actually believe that. Because once, once, you're, once your mind knows that you believe it, then you have to get it. But if we don't really believe it, we can't get it. So we can, we can have a belief on the outside. I can say, well, I really believe in God. <laughs> I know this is deep. I know I believe in God. I just don't really understand how to believe in God. Most of us don't understand how to believe in God, how to actually go from believing to knowing who God is. See, that's that's the that's the bridge. It, you go from believing God to just knowing God and understanding God. You know, Solomon talks about in all you're getting, get understanding. He says, because look, at the end of the day, you may get the knowledge. You may be introduced to the knowledge. You may even see the wisdom, but you're going to have to understand it because if we don't understand it, then it's going to be harder to apply it. So become you got you got to see and get clear on the person you should become, the person that you know you are. That go from there. This is the person that I know that I am. Deep down inside, I know that I'm this person. You know, because I know I'm a writer. <laughs> I know I'm a writer. I know I'm a best-selling writer. I know that I am. Not because of how good I can write. I just know that I have best-selling books. I know that I have them. Not because I'm like, oh my goodness, I have so much proof that, that, that I can write well. No. I, I don't. I don't have to know that. What I have to know that is who I am. This is what I produce. Just like, hey, there's there's been a time when no one no one knew who Javith Moore was, the healthy account. No one knew who that guy was, and that's okay. That that's just that's how life works. No one, no one, automatically becomes the person that has the fruit. And I heard a great, a great teaching on this by one of my mentors just this morning that blew, blew my mind. And um, he was he was really talking about how growth starts and how growth works using the idea of a tree. See, the first thing that happens with a tree is that it grows away from light. I'm not going to get into the scientific stuff that he used because that ain't me. I'm just going to tell you the story. <laughs> so listen up. The first thing that happens with a tree when, it, when when that seed goes in the ground is that it grows, it grows away from light and it grows down first. That's the roots. Like the roots grow down and away. If you ever try to dig up a tree, what you will find is roots going everywhere. It grows that way first, but you can't see that. You can't, that, that's not something that we see. That's not, because if we saw it, then maybe we'd learn more about the tree, but that's what happens when you're in the dark. No one gets to see what really happens in the dark. No one gets to see what really happens when I'm, when, when I'm finally discovered after a thousand videos. <laughs> I was thinking, this guy has a thousand, a thousand podcasts and no one's heard of them. But because I was growing in the dark, growing in the dark. If someone told you, you have to do a thousand podcasts in order to be seen. <laughs> it's going to take at least, at least a thousand. It could be more. Who knows? It's going to take at least a thousand, a thousand of something. Solomon, King Solomon is the same thing. Whole number story. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole. Just finish the tree and then we get out of here. So the tree grows down in the dark and away from light. 
So by the time it starts growing up toward the light, most of the hard work has been done. So here's what you take away today. Untapped power lying dormant in you. There's a darkness in you. There's something, there's something in you, but it's dark. And that's okay. You got to use the darkness to develop whatever it is that you have to develop. Because that darkness at some point shows up in the light. And then it becomes so bright that people can't miss your light. They can't miss it. But it's the darkness that comes first. And if we will, and if we would grow in the dark first, if we would decide who that person would be first, at some point, that person will show up, and that person will be bright, and that person will do and produce whatever it is that their seed is supposed to produce. So this untapped power lying dormant within all of us is just something that has to be developed. And if you would decide today to develop your seed, to develop that, that unused, untapped ability, I can't guarantee where you would be, but I can guarantee that you will be where you never thought you could be. That's the untapped power line doing within all of us. And guys, I hope you got value from the program today. Be sure to like, subscribe to this podcast, share it with other people that you might know, looking for more ways to understand themselves so that they can do better in their life, in their businesses, or in their relationships. I'm Jim with a healthy accountant, helping you to account for your life. God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.